Hi, everyone. Uh, hope everybody is doing well. Uh, let's just go ahead with our next five questions. So uh, these questions we discussed in our uh, uh, review session, which is related to your data, uh, data definition language, data manipulation language, data control language, and transaction control language. So more of, I would say that safe point and uh, uh, commit rollback related knowledge will be required. Some other questions also are packed with this, but uh, hopefully just let's go through the questions and uh, let's just see if the answers which you answered, they are matching or not. And I still uh, uh, hope that everybody is reading 15 minutes a day. Everybody is doing the affirmations every day and reading the exam objective. So why affirmations, why we are uh, we want to do this? Just we want our success faster. So we want everything around us, the universe around us, everything work towards it. And basically it is nothing but the focus. Uh, when we do affirmations, like uh, it reminds us that, okay, we are actually on the path and we're not forgetting about it. We're not forgetting that we are doing any certification. So it's better to say that, yes, I am certified uh, uh, and I have uh, completed my certification. I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm energetic, I'm active. So that um, whatever comes that after I am, it's like uh, really gives you more energy. And also for the certification, when you focus on a specific goal one at a time, so there is really a lot more chances of uh, coming true because you are writing it not just as affirmation, you are writing it as a goal also. Okay. So with that, uh, uh, let me just share my screen and let's go through uh, the uh, five questions. Yes. So let me make it a little bit bigger. Yes. So all of us, we are here and we are working on earning the Oracle Database Certified SQL Associate Certification. This is a focused exam for only structured query language SQL, which includes uh, SQL fundamentals plus advanced SQL. So uh, the question over here is which two statements are true regarding safe point. So over here, if we want to think of safe point, it is under the data control language, DCL, data control, uh, uh, sorry, it's not DCL, it's TCL. So transaction control language. So DCL is going to be the grant and rebook, okay? And the things which are related to the role and user access permissions. So that is the data control language because uh, we are giving the control or taking back the control. But over here, this is transaction control language. So transaction control is like in whenever we start a session, whenever we start a, a select statement or insert statement or update statement or any of these SQL statement, they do some modifications or they do some changes to the data. So now we have started a transaction. Now that transaction, do you want to save it or do you want to roll back it? Only two options are there. So either when you say save, like a word document saving, we will say commit. If you don't want to save, you do undo. Undo is nothing but the rollback in the SQL terms. So one more uh, aspect they added here, it is save point. So whenever we do commit, so if I have around 100 statements, I have 100 insert statements, insert, 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 insert. And when I do commit, everything gets committed above that. Or suppose if I do rollback, everything above that gets rolled back, undone, okay? So all the efforts of uh, putting those changes in, they are gone. So why save point could be useful? So first of all, save point is not with commit. Commit means everything committed. Once committed, uh, Oracle guarantees you the data integrity, data consistency. So even the server crashes, whatever committed changes, you will always see them. Okay, you will always see when the server comes up, when the database comes up, you will always, when the application comes up, you will always see them. But about the rollback, what they thought, okay, I'm doing like a, a hundred transaction. So can I have some kind of um, pointers 
uh, in between so that in case if I decide to roll back, I roll back to a partial point. Like I don't want to roll back everything. I want to roll back only last few transactions depending on the condition. Suppose there is a business need where, okay, if this thing happens, just go, go back to the save point A because I don't want between that transaction and that save point A, whatever happened, I don't want to save it. Okay, so only in those cases, we would have a partial rollback, partial rollback. Okay, so let's just go to the question. So uh, with this step and with this understanding, let's just see what we have here. So which two statements are true? So again, uh, the uh, it is again a scoring question, if you know the concept, because it's a small question, you 100% saving time over here. Uh, so uh, strategy of rejection is still our goal, like whenever we do the uh, any of the certification exam, it's just not Oracle SQL, any certification exam, that's a best, a best strategy. So rolling back to a safe point can be uh, undone. Uh, undo for a truncate statement. First of all, truncate statement is not the data manipulation language data manipulation language are only insert, update, delete, select. So inserting, updating, deleting, they can be rolled back. But truncate and delete, that's a major difference. That is one more concept which you will 100% you should see a question on truncate and delete. So truncate means delete all the data, all the data and commit. Truncate is delete and commit together. So can you do undo? No. So this is rejected. Uh, roll back to a save point can be done. Create index any times. Create index is a DDL, data definition language. Anytime if you're doing like inserting, updating, deleting, I'm not going to say select because select is used for just the retriever. So I'm doing some inserting, updating, deleting, inserting, updating, deleting. But if I do any of the DDL command, that is creating, altering, dropping, or truncate. Okay, so create table, create view, create sequence, create synonym, create... Uh, any of the other oracle object like index so index sequence synonym view table these are create table or alter okay alter is like uh, alter table alter uh, uh, like any of the alter sequence alter uh, uh, like your synonym any of the alter command will be there it will be like you will uh, uh, that is alter command example and a drop drop sequence drop view drop table drop constraint any of those commands so they are ddl as soon as ddl happens anything above the ddl gets committed so it's called as auto commit auto commit whenever ddl happens the transaction above all the transactions are done auto committed so just remember that okay so over here this is rejected roll back to a save point can undo a delete yes it can undo because uh, if a delete is in between delete can be done as an undo only uh, one save point may be issued uh, in a transaction no you know that there are multiple save points a save point does not issue a commit uh, yes, save point does not issue a commit. If you want to save something permanently, then you have to have a commit. So commit statement is specific. Uh, uh, save point is nothing but it's just the pointer or a tag where until then you can do the partial rollback. So we'll go to the next question, which two statements are true about rollback now? Okay, so this is again a question related to transaction control language. So data dictionary is um, not guaranteed after rollback. Okay, the rollback statement does not release the lock uh, resulting from the table updates. Uh, if the rollback statement is uh, used without to the save point, then all the save points in the transactions are deleted. Okay, so this is one thing which we can consider. The transaction interrupted by the system failure is automatically rolled back, okay, which is also uh, something which is a true, this is like a concept, both these are sounding like a concept. The data control language, DCL, such as grant and revoke, can be rolled back. So first of all, grant and revoke cannot be rolled back. What can be rolled back? Only inserting, updating, deleting can be rolled back. Remember that. So this is rejected. These two are qualified. The rollback statement does not release the lock. This is wrong. It is always any rollback will release the lock. And data consistency is not guaranteed after uh, rollback. This is also a wrong statement because Oracle guarantees the data consistency. 
consistency. When it does rollback, it will make sure the rollback is done completely and uh, you will not see those half-heartedly committed changes or half-heartedly rollback changes. It does a complete rollback. So uh, with the rejection also, and with the, these two are a very good concept, you should write them two times in your notebook so that you remember them. They are good for interview also. And uh, because of that, we are selecting C and D, okay? So then our next question is, um, uh, like uh, the user-defined logs are used in your database, okay? So which three are true about the transaction control language? So now this is uh, asking about, again, this is focused on TCL, which is commit, rollback, and save point. If you know the concept of commit, rollback, save point, this is a pretty straightforward exercise. So commit ends, um, okay, so first this, rollback without to a save point causes uh, undo all the transactions, uh, uh, without a save point cause undo all the transactions change, but does not, erase the save point. So this is like uh, one of the thing is there when you do rollback without a save point, everything is rolled back and the save point also are erased. Okay. So this is one of the thing which you should remember because uh, that is one of the option which we are going to choose. Like that is the option number E and it erases all the save points. So just remember this as a concept and that's what happens. This is, there is no true or false. That's what happens when the rollback happens. So remember this as a concept. And because of that, we are choosing the answer number E. Commit ends, uh, the uh, commit ends the transaction and makes all the changes permanent, true. Commit release, uh, erase all the transaction save points and releases the log. True again. Commit happens. Everything is committed. Your save points are also gone. Okay. Roll back to a save point. Undo the transaction changes made uh, since the name uh, save point and ends the transaction. So it is, see, it's roll back to the save point. If, but the thing is like there are above, there are more other transactions. So this is okay, but it is not ending the complete transaction because the safe roll back to a safe point, it is the partial roll back happened, but doesn't mean all the transactions in that when we have started are completed because there could be more transaction above that save point. So because of that, we are rejecting the answer number D. D roll back without uh, uh, to the save point causes um, undone all the transaction changes, but does not release locks. Okay, whenever it does complete rollback, it will release the locks. So because of that answer, F is wrong. So the green B, C, and E over here, the uh, they are right. Again, remember them as a concept. Don't remember like a B, C, and E because this if similar question is coming. It could be a combination of this question and this question also. So you should know them as a concept, not as the B, C, E. In this case, these are the answers. But I would write these concept in my notebook one or two times because these are not any like output or syntax. These are actually the concept related to TCL transaction control language. So I would go and write them and remember them as a concept. Good for the interview also. So next is like uh, which two statements are true about the save point. Uh, so over here after issuing the save point you can roll back to the save point uh, in the current transaction uh, which is true. After issuing the save point, you cannot roll back uh, the complete transaction, which is false because if you just do roll back without save point, everything can be rolled back. Uh, you can commit the uh, update done between two save point without committing the other updates in the current transaction. Uh, again, uh, the thing is like, uh, again, over here, this could be confusing. Uh, what it is saying, you can commit update done between the two save point. Uh, which is not true because commit will commit everything and release locks and also erase the save point. So this is not true. Uh, a rollback to a save point command issued before uh, the start of the transaction results the error. No, this is wrong. They make uncommitted update visible to the other session owned by the same user. Yes, but it will not make it visible to the other user. So option number E and F are contradictory and you can easily get confused between this, like the locks are like the save points are erased or not erased, similar type of question. So write this two as the 
concept again again because this is the similar question which we got above but different uh, options to select from so just remember this uh, these two and remember again as i said as a concept and now this is the last question is almost like your test here that you need to imagine like okay create happened then there is a save point a then there is an update then there is a commit as soon as commit is there this update is 100% saved then after that uh, this is saved all these insert also saved okay because create table insert and update everything is saved after this uh, delete uh, from the product okay so over here i have we have delete then we have we have delete then save point b then we have update then save point c then we have delete uh, then this then roll back to a save point b okay then you have uh, so roll back to the save point b and after that commit okay so transaction is finishing over here but the rollback happened to the b okay so whatever this update happened whatever this delete happened are gone okay and then uh, what are the three statements true so there is no rows uh, containing uh, there is no row <coughs> which contains pencil the code uh, for the fountain pen is 3 and the code for the pen is 10, okay? So this answer, when you are marking it, I hope everybody got this answer right because with knowing the concepts above, uh, I, if I start explaining this, it's going to be confusing, okay? It's very, very straightforward. Just put this as a concept which applied on top and try to see if the answer, these three answers you're getting convinced with because it's really, I'm telling you, it is straightforward. If you focus it, what happened, what rollback happened? And I would say that if you still don't get it, you need to ask me in the support call. So let's just, uh, if you are not able to convince yourself why this answer, any one of you, uh, you need to ask this question to me in the support call, okay? So that I can actually bring this up and explain exactly what happened. But right now at this stage, I feel that you should be able to predict these three answers. And this is a very good test and very good question to test your save point and TCL knowledge, okay? So with that, um, I would say, with that, this was very interesting five questions focused on TCL. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got the strategy on how to remember this and how to uh, clarify your concept. Any concept still not clarified, you have a support call. In the support call, we are going to talk. Okay. With that, uh, all of you have a good rest of the day and talk to you soon with the next five. Thank you.